Hi, I'm Buzzy Kerbox, and today's segment of Stand Up Paddling is How to Catch a Glide. So we're on our way up to Maliko, got my son Cody. And the, uh, the average speed of us paddling is probably around six miles an hour, and once you, uh, you know, paddle hard to get on a glide, you can get going up to about around 15 miles an hour uh, when you're dropping in on these big open ocean swells. So. So here we go, this is Cody POV. He's riding his 14 foot javelin. You see that uh, there's basically three strokes. You want like a steady stroke. And then when you're about to catch a wave, a very fast stroke. And once you are gliding along on the wave, a maintenance stroke to continue your speed. The main thing is to catch every glide that you can and uh, stay on it as long as you can. Sometimes they're going in, sometimes they're going out. You want to paddle, catch it, and go where it's going. But as you finish that glide, you want to get back to your course. You don't want to take three consecutive ones that are, say, going in towards shore or too far out. So look at this glide. He's able to catch right up to me. Speed just uh, amplifies, and all, all of a sudden, Cody's going much faster. Now, this is me trying to catch Cody. See that uh, I'm on a little bit of a glide here. I'm going to catch right up. There's Cody, and uh, so we're going to try to stay close to each other and demonstrate um, how effective it is when you do catch a glide. Here's one. I'm off and running. Now I'm going to try to stay on it as long as I can. It's uh, sometimes it'll leave you in in a trough where you just have to start going again. But um, the main thing is try to get them and stay on them and maximize them. Now if that nose goes under, you need to very quickly step or lean back, try to control it, pull that nose out, continue paddling. A lot of times you can pull that nose out and stay on that as well, uninterrupted. Keep going, you, all, you want to get on your way, you want to read it, going right or left and stay on it. That's it. Paddle hard, keep steady, look where you're going. I try to find the bumps. I don't look back for bumps, I look on my sides, my peripheral vision to see them. And when you're in the bottom of a trough, here's a little bit of a bottom, start going, that means you're starting to build up. Get yourself on it. And then sometimes you gotta paddle really hard to stay on it, stay on it, but your speed is it's so increased that it's worth it. Now I'm gonna go a little bit out with that one. Now I'm going to cut back and see me turning back to the left. Just try to stay on it, maximize. Now I'm turning back to the right. Downwind paddling is really very different from flat water. It's about catching those glides, maximizing them. The guys that are fast downwinders paddle at a high rate. They're able to catch more glides. And uh, the more you catch, the faster you're going to get down that coastline.